some medications are not stable in plastic, okay, they need to be held in glass. They are also possibly not stable in light, so they are shown in amber glass, darker glass. Okay, this is what's known as an ampule, and you're gonna see these. The ampule has the neck, and the neck is where it narrows in, and you'll see a line around the neck. This is where it's meant to be broken, okay? Um, they do have ampule breakers now. There are several different styles, but what they do is they drop on from the top, they cover and that neck, so when you snap it off, you're not exposed to that broken glass. Um, many, many nurses have cut their fingers on ampules before they had breakers. Be careful with these, okay? The type of breaker we have here, you'll see that one end is um, just hollow. The other end has this collar inside. It's the collar that slips over the ampule, okay? We slip that down until it's all the way over that neck. So I'm ready to break my ampule, but I need one more thing. My syringe has to have a special needle attached and it's a filter needle, okay? It actually contains a filter inside the needle. When I draw up this solution, there could be small glass particles inside it and I don't want to inject that into my patient. So I have to have a special needle to draw that up. Again, these look different depending on what manufacturer, what facility you use, but it will say filter on it, okay? Do not inject a person with a filter needle and I will show you why. Okay, so lure lock that into place. Ah, it's a pretty big needle, okay? We don't put this injection into people because the solution will just squirt right back out of you, okay? So I'm gonna recap that very carefully and I'm gonna break this ampule. When you break an ampule, you want to hold it with your finger up at the top and your thumb above the neck, okay? You don't want your thumb at the neck where it's going to break. So above the neck and you're gonna break it away from you, okay? Sharps, this goes immediately into the sharps. And now I have an ampule. I'll set this down here. I don't need to worry about air pressure here, okay? Sometimes with ampules, and this is really cool, you can actually kind of invert it and the solution will not fall out. Um, I'm always hesitant to do, that, to do that with school supplies ampules because you never know if it's going to leak out everywhere, but you can actually draw up the medication and because of that tension on the surface of the fluid, it will not drip out, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I've drawn up all of that. Sometimes I may need this to scan it. If I don't, it's considered a sharps. Okay, I need to get that in the sharps container. So I have two mils of fluid. Okay. Let's recap this. And again, I don't inject a human with a filter needle. I need to choose a different needle. So let's choose. Let's show you one and a half inch. Okay. So this is a 22 gauge, one and a half inch. I'm gonna remove the filter needle. Since it doesn't want to come off and attach my injection needle. 